Now that all sporting associations have been given the go-ahead to resume training and in some cases competition, a level of normality has been reintroduced. The GBC Sports Awards, which took place back in March, were filmed in the studio for the first time behind closed doors, with the recipients of each award unable to receive their trophies. Over the last two weeks, we have finally been able to meet up with this year's winners. The Junior Team Award was won by the young rifle pair of Maraid Sheriff and Christina Hewitt. Their performances at last year's Island Games led them to local stardom after outshining many experienced shooters in various events with only a few weeks of training and preparation. Maraid's individual efforts also won her the Junior Individual Award after winning five medals in a variety of shooting disciplines. Yeah, it was really unexpected. Just that anything is possible really because the, one of the disciplines that we competed in, we had just started training for it about two weeks before the, the competition. So, yeah. The pistol pair of Mario Apap and Steven Borge also had a fantastic games last year, winning the Open Team gold medal as well as taking silver and gold respectively. Willis Magazine was the venue at which the gold medal winning performances took place. We're very honoured to have received it and we're very grateful for those who bought it for us. And um, it's a great achievement for shooting sports in general in Gibraltar and for the Gibraltar Pistol Association. Jesse Franco's 2019 will be a year to remember for many reasons. After breaking national records in the 100, 200 and 400 metres, claiming two gold medals at the Island Games and competing in Doha for the Athletics World Championships, the Senior Individual Award was well deserved for this young sprinter. My highlight would have to say the Island Games because I got the two gold medals for the 200 and the 400. Uh, obviously to have my father there in the corner is also Sort of hard work, uh, training wise, has to focus mentally, uh, physically, just everything. Um, I want to say thank you to Charlie as well because he's also in the background with my dad as well. I want to thank the Calpians also as well because they motivate me as well, my friends, family, just everybody individually. And last but not least, the coveted Lifetime Achievement Award went to Linda Alvarez. Linda has been involved in a variety of different sporting associations since arriving here in Gibraltar and after having led the Gibraltar Island Games Association to a successful completion, it was fitting that this year's award went to her. But this is nice that this has been given to me by my peers really and that everybody recognises me and, and appreciates what I do. And for me that's nice because you know I don't have any family and, and this is it's nice. It makes me feel, you know, I'm really a belonger. And for me, you know, this is just a recognition of all those years, all the sweat and the tears and, you know, not just that, all the other people that I've worked with as well. Um, and, and this is for them as well because we all work so hard to get our sports off and running and because we're passionate about sports and I think that's what it is. It's, a, it's being passionate about your sport and helping everybody, you know, be able to play it, to achieve more and for my, you know, particularly going away and being able to represent Gibraltar.